Hi, I'm Sabine. I'm the National Sales Manager of Walida. And today I'm here with Liesl, our naturopath. And we will be covering our most famous range, skin food. Hi, Liesl. Hi, Sabine. So today we'll be talking about our best-selling range in Australia, which is skin food. And skin food in particular is good for dry and rough skin. So what are actually the causes of dry and rough skin? So the reasons why people get dry skin is because they sometimes there's usually something wrong with the skin barrier function. So first of all, the skin cells might not be the correct shape. And it means so they don't overlap each other that well. It means moisture can easily escape. Or there's not enough, uh, good enough quantity or quality in the skin lipids or the natural moisturizing factors. So all of those can um, are causes of the moisture escaping from the skin. Everyday causes, basically. So first of all, genetics. Mm. So sometimes people are just born with a dry skin and um, that's usually linked to a filagrin gene defect. Um, it's a normal part of aging as well to have dry skin. By, by 40, the skin starts getting drier and by the age of 60, most people suffer from dry skin. And then, of course, it's also just lifestyle type of issues. So sometimes um, people don't, just don't drink enough water or sometimes people just decrease their skin um, too much. So, you know, using soaps and bubble baths and mm. things like that, or just spending too much time in water. So the longer you have contact with water and the warmer the water is, the more it will actually dry out your skin. Um, the climate as well. So, you know, especially if you live in an area where there's not a lot of humidity, um, winter, and cold air can't, usually, can't hold humidity, so that usually um, dries out the skin. And also being in air-conditioned offices or heated air as well. Um, and then other things that can also cause dry skin is um, some diseases like hypothyroidism and some medications as well. So I think I've covered all of the <laughs> causes <laughs> quite comprehensively. <laughs> Tell me a little bit more about the history of skin food. Skin food was created in 1926 as a therapeutic cream to be used by the whole family. And the idea was to create a formula that was as close as possible to the natural skin oils. And going back to the 21st century, skin food is quite a cult product. There are a lot of celebrities like Julia Roberts and Victoria Beckham who tweet about it, Instagram it, Facebook it, love it. So why do you think there is such a great love for skin food? Well, I think first of all, because it's, it does exactly what it promises to do. And we were also a little bit lucky because um, some makeup artists discovered skin food and I've been using it on models and celebrities ever since. Which ingredients make it so effective? First of all, we've got high oleic sunflower oil. So high oleic means it's high in omega-9 fatty acids, which is also very high in, for instance, olive oil. And so that creates a very stable base for our products because it doesn't oxidize really easily. And it's also a very nice light cream, um, oil. So it will soak nice, um, quite easily into the skin and take the active ingredients with it. Um, other ingredients um, include organic chamomile, organic um, calendula and organic rosemary extract. So we take those plants and we put them in a, a sweet almond oil and then we gently heat them together to extract the active um, constituents out of those plants. All of those plants have antiseptic and anti-inflammatory properties and calendula specifically has shown to also help with um, wound healing and the way it does it it, it um, promotes granulation in the skin so granulation means is, is when your skin makes new connective tissue and new little blood vessels on the on the surface of a wound so yes yeah, so calendula is quite a, a special plant um, other ingredients include viola tricolor also called pansy so pansy is very um, rich in mucilage, plant mucilage or plant gel. And when you apply that to the skin, it coats and it covers the skin and soothes any irritation and, and itchy, itchiness, basically. We also use pansy in our white mallow range mm. for That's for that eczema. pretty purple flower, yes, isn't it? a violet. Looks like a face. <laughs> yes, it's really beautiful. There's also organic shea butter in there 
50% of organic shea butter is um, oleic acid, 50% is stearic acid. So 50% unsaturated fatty acids, 50% saturated fatty acids, which makes it that lovely buttery consistency at room temperature. But when you put it on your skin, it melts into the skin. What's special about shea butter as well, it has a high content of unsaponifiables. So usually uh, normal plant oils will have 1% of unsaponifiables, while shea butter usually have up to about 12% of unsaponifiables. And unsaponifiables is basically, it's the stuff that's left over after you've made soap from a, a plant oil. And that's actually a very special and important ingredient in natural skincare, because that's basically your vitamin E, your vitamin A, phytosteroids, and also triterpenes. All of those substances have strong antioxidant um, activity and anti-inflammatory activity on the skin. Another important ingredient in skin food is lanolin. Uh, lanolin is very similar to our own skin oils, so it can easily be incorporated into the skin's um, lipid matrix. So basically it will be absorbed into the skin and form part of our own skin oils. Um, lanolin also has this unique ability to absorb twice its own weight in water, mm -hmm. which means it will trap water inside the skin and it has very long lasting results. And that's important for dry skin. Very important, yeah. You, you just mentioned lanolin. Lanolin had gotten a bad name lately in the press and people talk about it, they're not happy with lanolin. Why is that? The allergic potential of lanolin was overestimated. That all dates back to the 1950s when there was a study done on patients in, the, in um, a hospital in New York. Um, they had dermatological disorders and about 1% of them showed an allergy to lan um, lanolin. And so that was then extrapolated to the whole population, basically the whole population who don't have skin diseases, saying that they also, have, you know, there's a one percent allergy rate um, to lanolin. So it was overestimated. We know that lanolin, especially the highly purified, hypoallergenic lanolin, um, don't cause much al allergies at all. There was also issues or concerns about pesticide residue in lanolin. Um, I just want to say that Willida has used, we use a pharmaceutical grade lanolin in our skincare products. So we use it in our medicines and also our skincare products. And our standards are actually even higher than European pharmacopoeia requires. And where does our lanolin come from? We get our lanolin from Australia, New Zealand and also South America. Mm -hmm. Another important ingredient in skin food is beeswax. Where does Willida get their beeswax from? We get our beeswax from Australia. Uh, well, the beeswax we use in the skin food range anyway, and it's organic beeswax. The reason why we use beeswax is because it's very, very skin friendly. It's anti-inflammatory and it forms a fine protective layer on top of the skin, trapping the moisture in the skin. Skin food has this amazing smell and everyone loves, everyone who opens a tube of skin food says, oh, it smells amazing, mm. so natural and fresh. What kind of type of, of fragrance is in skin food? Yeah, so it is a beautiful smell and uh, the scent was also created in 1926 and we haven't changed it since then. The essential oils we use is sweet orange oil, there's lavender in there and then also benzoin resin. So benzoin resin gives it a bit of a vanilla and balsamic note. Um, so people shouldn't confuse benzoin with benzoin resin, so there's a chemical called benzoin, but benzoin resin comes from a tree. Mm -hmm. It's usually a tree that it's the Starax genus and it grows all over Southeast Asia and usually people use it in um, incense as well. Let's look at the whole range of skin food. Skin food original, has that been changed? No, we definitely haven't changed the original um, formula. I think we'll be in a lot of trouble mm -hmm. <laughs> if we change the formula because so many people love this product. So skin food is um, fantastic for very dry and rough skin. It's a water in oil emulsion. Mm -hmm. So it means that each little um, water drop is surrounded by oil. And it means that basically that water will be drawn into our skin and hydrate our skin. 
This um, product has 48% fat content, so it's quite, quite a very rich product. And so it's fantastic for anywhere where you're going to have dry and rough skin, fantastic for the hands, the elbows, the feet, that I use it on all of that. I use it sp specifically as a face cream as well, because I have a very dry eczema type of skin. Makeup artists use it as a primer. Makeup, makeup primer or as a highlighter as well, um, so to give, give that dewy yeah. Um, look. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I use it actually when I go flying overseas, yes. as so the skin doesn't dry out. Exactly. Um, you can use it when you surf a lot, go on the beach. Um, skiing, perfect for skiing. Yeah, yes, it's a perfect barrier cream. Um, I've got dermatitis in my hands and feet and my doctor told me, Liesl, don't go into the water. But of course I'm gonna go for have a swim, you know, and, and snorkel and so on. So all I do is I just put skin fit on my hands and my feet before I go in the water, um, you know, to protect my skin as a barrier. As a barrier yeah. And as when I come out, then I put it on immediately again as well. So, you know, so it works really well that way. We've also heard from customers, a lot of people actually use it um, for their eczema, mm. even though we haven't designed it specifically for eczema, but mm. just because it's such a fantastic barrier cream. Yeah. And it's also, uh, um, suitable for sensitive skin so yeah um other things i've heard is also just use it on a, a tip of um hair. Spl split hairs yeah. you know so that it's, it's good for that too. or for the flyaways yeah. on top of your head exactly yeah <laughs> yeah and the, this is actually the 75 mil but the 30 mil is just the perfect size for your handbag yeah yeah, yeah that's right yeah or go skiing <laughs> yeah, exactly so yeah very uh, a cult product and a, a multi-purpose product and then there is the, the, the new range or the extension of the range, which is the Skin Food Light, the Skin Food Body Butter and the Skin Food Lip Balm. So perhaps we start with the Skin Food Light. Can you explain that a little bit more? So we have the Skin Food Light. So this is a new product for us. This is a oil in water emulsion. So it's a bit of a lighter cream and the fat content is 31%. So quite a lot less than the Skin Food original. What was the Skin Food original again? So that was 48%. Okay. So this is 31%. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So quite a lot lighter. So this is great for dry skin. Um, fantastic as an alternative to Skin Food in summer. Mm -hmm. when you don't, maybe don't need as much um, um, moisture, moisturization. Up, apart from that, it's exactly the same ingredients. It's just not as rich. Ah, uh, yes. So that's a good question because there is actually, we've changed the ingredients a little bit. So we've reduced the beeswax and the lanolin content, and then we've added cacao butter and chia butter. And how does that make a huge difference? Yeah, so that just reduces the fat content okay. um, and so yeah, it makes it lighter, make feel a bit lighter. Yeah, because lanolin and beeswax specifically are very rich fatty yeah. ingredients. Okay. Yeah. Um, what about the Skin Food Body Butter? So the Skin Food Body Butter is also a oil in water emulsion, it's the same as the Skin Food Light, also 31% fat. And with the Skin Food Body Butter, we've actually completely removed the lanolin and the beeswax. So that making this product a vegan product. And so we've replaced that with cacao butter and shea butter. It has a wonderful, I'm going to open this one. All right. Looks like whipped cream. Exactly. So it has this beautiful whip, whipped cream texture. Very light and fluffy. Isn't it's it? very light and fluffy. It basically absorbs into the skin very easily. I recommend to um, apply it in large circular movements. This is a product that's really good for the whole family. My husband used it over summer and he loved it. And it's fantastic for sensitive skin as well. It smells beautiful. Yeah, so you'll notice that the scent is a little bit different to our yeah. skin food. And that's because we just um, focus on different notes. So yeah, the, the benzoin uh, resin is a little bit stronger than mm -hmm. in the other products. Mm -hmm. So is there the usage, would you use the body butter more on the, on the body and the skin food, the original or light more in the face? Yeah, so I, I guess yeah, these ones are more for specific spots. Yeah, okay. so you know, dry hands or maybe you might, be, might have a dry or eczema spot somewhere on the face. Yeah, the body butter is for the whole body. Yeah. The skin food lip balm. 
we've got an amazing lip balm, the Everon lip balm, we which do. is just brilliant, which yes. is like another cult product pretty exactly, much. Yes. So what does the Skin Food lip balm can do what the Everon can't okay, do? Okay, so this is, yeah, we've designed this specifically for really very dry skin and chapped lips. So it has a very high fat content, 97% fat, and it contains all of those beautiful ingredients that we have in the rest of the skin food, food range. So the lanolin and the beeswax and the calendula and the chamomile. Um, you can also put it on top of your lipstick if you want to have the extra little shine and barrier. And it's also a very good barrier. Um, so for instance, if you're flying or any, do any of those type of things, skiing, it's just one of those perfect barrier creams. Is there a smell to it? Um, it, it has a very si a slight scent actually. Yeah, because, you yeah, know. And you squeeze it out or is it? Uh... Let's open it. Yeah. Here we go. We found it. <laughs> so it's a very slight scent. Oh, okay. So and you just squeeze it out. And you can see. Nice. So definitely some very lanolin. Very oily. Very oily. Lots of lanolin and beeswax. Shiny. There. Yeah. And I'll just mention, and this makes me quite excited because um, our efficacy tests on this whole skin food range showed that there was a 50% increase in moisture in the skin after use of 28 days. So I think that's a fantastic result. That's incredible. Yeah. Thank you, Liesl. Thanks, Sabine. To summarize, skin food was originally developed in 1926 with the aim to create a formula as close as possible to our own natural skin oil to treat very dry and rough skin. The key ingredients in the skin food range include calendula, chamomile, rosemary, pansy, sunflower oil, shea butter, pharmaceutical grade lanolin and beeswax. The skin food range consists of skin food for very dry and rough skin, skin food light for dry skin, it spreads easily and absorbs rapidly into the skin. Skin food lip balm for very dry and chapped lips. And skin food body butter for dry skin. The lanolin and beeswax have been replaced with cacao butter and shea butter, resulting in a non-greasy but creamy formula that are rapidly absorbed into the skin. Skin food body butter is a vegan formula. I hope you enjoyed my conversation with Liesl on our new and improved skin food range. If you have any more questions, please send us an email at walida at walida.com.au.